Two hundred years ago in Japan, there was a folklore. This folklore contained three people. It contained a young girl called Hinata. It also contained a mother, Okusan. And then finally, it contained the antagonist of this story. It contained the father, Otasan. This story is about these three characters, and also a famous mirror. everywhere, both day and night, worshipping the mirror that her mother gave her. She treated as if it was a real person every time she looked into the mirror. I love you, Mum. I really miss you. Oh, look, Mum, there's new tomatoes. Oh, look, your favourite type of bread. This is absolutely great market, isn't it, Mum? Oh, hey, Hinata, give me the mirror, now! Why? It's mine. Because I, I want to sell the stupid mirror or something. You... what? You, you can't do that, it's Mum. Look, see? What is that? It's just a stupid mirror. No, you are not selling it. It's so special to me. Bye, Dad. How could he? How could he do that? That was mum. It was the only thing I had to remember her. Sometimes he has no brain in his head. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie Hinata. I'll always be with you. It was just a mirror. Mum? Mum, where are you? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I'm right here, Hinata. Where? Through generations and generations in Japan, the mirror was passed down between different people, both poverty and poor, through rich and riches. Both people, both sets of people, worshipped this mirror like it was their own loved ones. No matter if you are poor or wealthy, you love the ones that you have lost. <laughs> 